In this video, we listed the top 30 best places to visit in England. We made this list based on personal opinion and tried to list them based on their reviews, location, and more. Let's start the list. Hope you will enjoy the video. Number 30. Cambridge. Cambridge, England is an iconic university city located in the east of England with an old world charm. It is renowned for its rich history and world-renowned universities making it a popular destination for travelers looking to explore the cultural and educational heritage of the city. The city is home to two of the world's oldest and most prestigious universities s, the University of Cambridge and Anglia Ruskin University. These institutions have a long history of producing some of the world's greatest minds, making it a great place to visit and explore. Visitors to Cambridge can explore the city's many tourist attractions, including the historic colleges of the University of Cambridge, the River Cam, and the iconic King's College Chapel. Number 29. Oxford. Oxford, located in the southeast of England, is a city that offers a unique combination of historic beauty, modern amenities, and an exciting student life. It's one of the most popular tourist destinations in the UK, renowned for its world-famous university, stunning architecture, and fascinating museums. The city's top attractions include the University of Oxford's iconic Dreaming Spires, the Bodleian Library, the Ashmolean Museum, and the Christ Church Cathedral. Stroll along the cobbled streets of the city centre to explore its hidden alleys and courtyards, and don't forget to visit the Oxford Covered Market to find unique souvenirs and tasty treats. For a unique experience, take a punt, a flat-bottomed boat, along the winding river Isis for stunning views of the city. Number 28. Windsor. Windsor is one of England's most historic towns, located in the county of Berkshire. It is home to Windsor Castle, the oldest and largest occupied castle in the world. This royal residence is the Queen's favorite weekend home and is open to the public to explore. The main reason to visit Windsor is to explore the ancient castle. The castle is a stunning example of medieval architecture and is the site of many royal events. It is also home to the world's largest collection of royal artifacts. Visitors can tour the state apartments, St. George's Chapel, and Queen Mary's Dolls House. Windsor is also a great place to explore the surrounding countryside. There are plenty of walking and cycling routes, as well as boating and horse riding activities. Number 27. Chester. Chester is an historic city located in the northwest of England, close to the Welsh border, with a population of around 80,000. A fascinating mix of urban and rural, the city centre is a bustling hub of activity, with a unique shopping experience with two-tiered covered galleries, and a plethora of cafes, restaurants, and bars. Chester is a great destination for travelers looking to discover the rich history of the region. The city's main tourist attraction is its ancient Roman walls, built around AD 74. These walls have been restored in recent years and offer a great way to explore the city's history. Other key attractions include Chester Cathedral, Chester Castle, and the Grosvenor Museum. The city also hosts a range of events throughout the year. Number 26. Canterbury. Canterbury in England is a city with a lot of tourist attractions to offer. Located in the southeast of England, it is a great place to explore and discover some of the best preserved buildings and historical landmarks in the country. It is known as the home of the Anglican Church and is renowned for its ancient cathedral. Tourists should also not miss the beautiful St. Augustine's Abbey and St. Martin's Church, which are popular attractions in the city. The city is a great place to explore history and culture. Tourists can take guided tours of the city and visit the various historic places. They can also take a walk along the city's cobbled streets and explore its quaint shops and restaurants. There are also plenty of activities to do in the city such as attending festivals. Number 25. Isle of Man The Isle of Man, 
Located in the Irish Sea between England and Ireland is a beautiful destination for travelers. Its stunning landscapes, picturesque villages, and friendly locals make it an ideal place to explore. The island's capital, Douglas, is home to a number of historical sites, such as the 13th century Peel Castle, as well as a range of shops, restaurants, and pubs. The Isle of Man is renowned for its spectacular landscapes, offering a range of activities for outdoor enthusiasts. Popular activities include cycling, hiking, and horse riding, as well as sailing and surfing. The island is also home to a number of stunning beaches, including the renowned Laxey Beach. The Isle of Man is also known for its rich cultural history. Number 24. Holy Island. Holy Island of Lindisfarne, off the northeast coast of England, is a beautiful place filled with ancient history, stunning views, and plenty of activities for visitors. It is one of the most important religious sites in Britain and a must-visit for those looking to explore the region's past. Located about a mile off the coast of Northumberland, the island is accessible via a tidal causeway and can be reached by car or on foot. The main attraction of Holy Island is the ancient Lindisfarne Priory, founded in the 7th century by St. Aidan and later destroyed by Viking raids. Tourists can explore the ruins of the priory, its part-restored chapel, and the ancient graveyard. There are also plenty of other historical sites, including the ruins of St. Mary's Church. Number 23. Shrewsbury. Shrewsbury, England, is a picturesque market town located in the county of Shropshire. It is often referred to as the S, birthplace of Charles Darwin due to his childhood residence in the town. The town is a popular tourist destination due to its many cultural and historical attractions. The main reason to visit Shrewsbury is its rich heritage and quaint cobbled streets. The town has numerous historical buildings, including the medieval Shrewsbury Castle and the imposing Shrewsbury Abbey. The town also offers a variety of museums, galleries, and cultural attractions. One of the highlights of Shrewsbury is the Quarry Park, which offers spectacular views of the town. The park is home to a variety of wildlife, including swans and ducks. Number 22. Worcester. Worcester, located in the county of Worcestershire in England, is a charming city steeped in history. It is an ideal destination for those seeking a tranquil getaway and the opportunity to explore the city's unique heritage. The city is home to some of the most popular tourist attractions, including the 11th century Worcester Cathedral, which is renowned for its Gothic architecture, the Tudor House Museum, and the city's iconic River Severn. Visitors can also explore the city's many parks, such as Galuvalt Park and the Royal Worcester Porcelain Museum, which showcases the city's porcelain history. Other attractions in the city include the Commandery Museum, where visitors can learn more about the history of the English Civil War. Number 21. Keswick. Keswick is a picturesque town in the English Lake District, a region known for its stunning mountains, valleys, and lakes. It's an ideal holiday destination for outdoor enthusiasts, nature lovers, and history buffs. Location. Located in the county of Cumbria in northwest England, Keswick is just a short drive from the M6 motorway. Main reason to go, Keswick is a paradise for the outdoor enthusiast. From fell walking and mountain biking to canoeing, sailing, and fishing, the area has something for everyone. For those who prefer a more leisurely visit, the town is also home to a number of pubs and restaurants, as well as an abundance of shops and galleries. Highlights and Attractions Keswick's main attractions include its Georgian Theater Royal. Number 20. Cotswolds. Cotswolds, England is a picture-perfect countryside nestled in south-central England. It is the ideal destination for travelers looking for a break away from the hustle and bustle of city life. Boasting of stunning natural beauty, quaint villages, rolling hills, and impressive historical sites, there is something for everyone in the Cotswolds. 
The main reason to visit the Cotswolds is because of its stunning natural landscape. This area of England is full of breathtaking scenery, ancient villages, and stunning views. There are plenty of activities to do in the Cotswolds, including walking, cycling, and horse riding, as well as visiting the many historical sites. Some of the most popular tourist spots and attractions in Cotswolds include the town of Borton on the Watered. Number 19. Cumbria. Cumbria in England is the perfect getaway destination for nature lovers. Located in the northwest of England, its breathtaking scenery, including the Lake District National Park, makes it one of the best places to visit in the country. The Lake District National Park is the highlight of Cumbria and is where many tourists flock to. Here you can find a wealth of outdoor activities, such as hill walking, mountain biking, sailing, kayaking, and more. Other attractions in Cumbria you won't want to miss include Hadrian's Wall, the Roman Fort of Carlisle, and the picturesque village of Windermere. Additionally, you can explore the historic city of Kendal or take a boat ride on Oldswater. You'll also find plenty of great places to eat and drink around the area. Castles, Lakes Number 18. Somerset Somerset in England is a must-visit destination for travelers looking for beautiful landscapes, historic sites, and laid-back vibes. Located in southwest England, Somerset is blessed with stunning natural beauty, rolling hills, and abundant wildlife. Highlights include Glastonbury Tor, a hilltop with a stunning view, and Cheddar Gorge, England's largest gorge. Tourists can take a trip down the Bristol Channel or explore the Exmoor National Park. Other attractions include Wells Cathedral, Wookiee Hole Caves, and the picturesque villages of Dunster and Linton. Activities in Somerset are plentiful, from cycling and horse riding to kayaking and fishing. There are plenty of activities for kids as well, such as the wild walk at Wookiee Hole Caves. Number 17. Ambleside. Ambleside, located in the heart of the spectacular Lake District National Park of England, is a delightful little town that is perfect for a relaxing vacation. Surrounded by snow-capped peaks, gorgeous valleys, and picturesque lakes, Ambleside is a paradise for nature lovers and adventure seekers alike. The main reason to visit Ambleside is to experience the stunning beauty of the English countryside and to explore its many tourist attractions. The town's main highlight is the Lake Windermere, the largest lake in the area. Visitors can take boat rides around the lake, go fishing, or simply take in the views. Other popular attractions include the Rydal Mount, a beautiful Georgian house and gardens, and the Dove Cottage, home to the beloved poet William Wordsworth. Number 16. Cumbria. Cumbria in England is the perfect getaway destination for nature lovers. Located in the northwest of England, its breathtaking scenery, including the Lake District National Park, makes it one of the best places to visit in the country. The Lake District National Park is the highlight of Cumbria and is where many tourists flock to. Here you can find a wealth of outdoor activities, such as hill walking, mountain biking, sailing, kayaking, and more. Other attractions in Cumbria you won't want to miss include Hadrian's Wall, the Roman Fort of Carlisle, and the picturesque village of Windermere. Additionally, you can explore the historic city of Kendal or take a boat ride on Oldswater. You'll also find plenty of great places to eat and drink around the area. Number 15. Hampshire. Hampshire, England is a captivating county, located in the south of England, surrounded by the counties of Dorset, Wiltshire, Berkshire, Surrey, and West Sussex. It is home to the iconic cities of Portsmouth and Southampton, as well as the stunning New Forest National Park. The main reasons for visiting Hampshire are its incredible history, stunning landscapes, and wealth of activities for all ages. From the imposing coastal cliffs of the Isle of Wight to the rolling hills of the South Downs National Park, there is something to delight everyone. Tourists can explore the famous naval ports of Portsmouth and Southampton, visit the awe-inspiring cathedrals of Winchester and Salisbury, 
and wander through the enchanting medieval villages of the New Forest. Number 14. Stratford-upon-Avon Stratford-upon-Avon, in Warwickshire, England, is a picturesque town best known for being the birthplace of William Shakespeare. This quaint little town is full of medieval charm and is the perfect place for a weekend getaway. Located in the heart of the English countryside, Stratford-upon-Avon offers a variety of attractions. The main reason to visit Stratford-upon-Avon is to experience the rich culture and history of the area. Tourists can visit the Royal Shakespeare Company's Theatre, which is the birthplace of many of Shakespeare's most famous plays. Along with the theatre, visitors can explore the many museums and galleries that showcase the history of the town. There are also several walking trails that take one through the beautiful countryside. Number 13. Newcastle upon Tyne. A historic city along the River Tyne, Newcastle is a major city of northeastern England. Formerly known as Northumberland, it is an amazing city to experience traditional English culture, lined with historic sites around the city. It is also a hub for arts and sciences in the region, serving as a major educational center. The massive Tyne Bridge is one of the city's most iconic landmarks, with the elegant Gateshead Millennium Bridge shadowing it across the Tyne River. Built on the site of a former Roman settlement, Newcastle's history goes back centuries to early English settlements. The Hadrian Wall is probably the only remnant of this time, a great place to understand a little about ancient Roman culture. The Quayside District is the site of much of Old England. Number 12. Birmingham. Birmingham is the United Kingdom's second major city, after the capital city London. A major location of the Industrial Revolution, Birmingham continues to be a key contributor to the prosperity and economy of the United Kingdom. The city is a fine example of English culture, with medieval architecture of the 18th to 20th centuries blending in with the more modern structures of the 21st century, bringing you one of the most eclectic yet scenic panoramas of the Midlands of England. Birmingham's popularity and growth are rooted in the Industrial Revolution, where residents of Birmingham were the most inventive and hardworking in bringing about this change as compared to all of Britain's communities. The Birmingham Back-to-Backs narrates the evolution of Birmingham from its inception to its current glory. Number 11. Bath. A precious city, Bath is home to some of the greatest Georgian architecture in the United Kingdom. Located in the valley of River Avon, Bath is such a beautiful city that it has been designated as an UNESCO World Heritage Site. It is special for its hot springs and the Roman baths. The city provides a large range of attractions for visitors of every kind and attracts over 4.4 million people each year. A World Heritage Site, Bath is a historic Georgian and Roman spa city. It is situated at a distance of 100 miles west from London and the nearest big city here is Bristol. The town is set in the Somerset countryside on the southern part of Cotswolds, Bath. It is famous for its hot springs, Roman baths, Georgiana architecture. Number 10. Belfast. Belfast, Irish Beale First, City, District, and Capital of Northern Ireland, on the River Ligon, at its entrance to Belfast Lock, Inlet of the Sea. It became a city by royal charter in 1888. After the passing of the Government of Ireland Act, 1920, it became the seat of the Government of Northern Ireland. In Belfast city centre there is an abundance of cafes, trendy bars, and an amazing restaurant scene. Start off in the Visit Belfast Welcome Center, opposite City Hall, to pick up information, book tours and make the most of your visit. At the heart of the city center is Belfast City Hall. Opened in 1906, it hosts a visitor exhibition that tracks the city's history, offers guided tours of the council chambers. Number 9. Brighton. Brighton is a seaside resort and one of the two main areas of the city of Brighton and Hove in the county of East Sussex, England. It is located 47 miles south of London. 
archaeological evidence of settlement in the area dates back to the Bronze Age, Roman, and Anglo-Saxon periods. An inclusive, free-thinking city in the heart of Sussex. With a blend of modern culture and exotic architecture, sea and countryside, make brighten your base and discover new places and experiences both inside the city and out. Ever since royal party animal George IV fell in love with Brighton back in the 18th century, the city has been a magnet for visitors in search of fun, frolics and fresh sea air. With its majestic Regency squares and crescents, iconic royal pavilion. Number 8. Glasgow. The largest city in Scotland, Glasgow is situated on the banks of River Clyde in the west-central lowlands of the country. It was historically a part of Lanarkshire. From being the powerhouse of industrial Britain, it has transformed itself into a major tourist destination across the world. Glasgow is the largest city in Scotland and is well known for its culture, style and the nature of the people. It is home to numerous internationally famous museums and galleries and boasts a beautiful architecture. The city has a vibrant nightlife and a perfect destination for shopping and food lovers. There is a year-round buzz going on in the city and has a lot of exhibitions. Glasgow was declared as the UK's City of Design and Architecture in 1999. Number 7. Bournemouth. Bournemouth is a coastal resort town on the south coast in the Bournemouth, Christchurch and Poole Borough of Dorset, England. Bournemouth is a cosmopolitan, world-class destination located on Britain's south coast in the county of Dorset. It was founded in 1810 by Lewis Tregonwell and shortly afterwards became a recognized health resort and spa town, attracting Victorian visitors for the medicinal benefits of its sea air and pine-scented walkways. Today, it's one of the UK's most popular seaside resorts and we welcome almost 7 million visitors a year. There's a vibrant and bustling feel to the town, enriched by our multicultural population. Nevertheless, we're fiercely proud of our Victorian heritage, including our listed architecture and gardens. Number 6. York. An ancient cathedral city, York is situated in Yorkshire in England. This is the second most visited city in England after London and has some of the best preserved historical buildings and architecture in Europe. York is often referred to as the city of festivals as there are festivals going on all throughout the year. It is a place full of magic place for a short romantic trip. A city of extraordinary historical and cultural wealth, York is a picturesque riverside city in England. Encircled by ancient walls, the history of the town dates back to the Roman times when it was known as Eberacum. York is almost traffic-free and can be explored very well by walking on the Snickleways. Each turns provides you with a new experience and you can find a lot of things hidden in the city. Number 5. Manchester. Lying in the heart of Greater Manchester, Manchester is a city in the northwestern part of England. It is known for its impact on the historical scenario of industry and music as well as famous for its football clubs. It is a vibrant city visited by numerous tourists all around the year. The city is surrounded by beautiful countryside, with the Peak District National Park to the south and the Pennines to the east, offering plenty of opportunities for outdoor adventures. Manchester is one of those cities in central United Kingdom which played a great role during the Industrial Revolution. It is one of the liveliest cities which has vibrant cultural scene and a lot of major attractions. As the sun sets, Manchester comes alive with its bustling nightlife. Number 4. Liverpool. Famed for its wonderful culture, winning football teams, the Beatles and a buzzing nightlife, Liverpool is one of the major cities of UK situated in Merseyside in England. It lies within the boundaries of Lancashire. It was awarded as the European Capital of Culture in 2009 and is home to some of the major attractions in Europe. The seaport of Liverpool is located in the northwestern part of England and it is at a distance of 336 kilometers from London. 
This town has a reputation of wit and the people have an obsession over football and music. Along with that it also has an impressive cultural heritage and it is home to more museums than any other city apart from London. The galleries here are among the best in the country and is a major shopping destination as well. Number 3. Blackpool. After London, Blackpool can be considered as the most popular tourist destination in the entire country of England. It is a popular seaside resort which has a vintage charm of its own. Underscore there are millions of people visiting this town every year and that makes it the number one ranked holiday resort. Located on the northwestern coast of England, Blackpool is a seaside resort in Lancashire, England. It is a small town located on the Irish Sea between Wire and Ribble estuaries. Even though it is a small town, it never fails to excite the tourists as it has a lot of attractions like the Blackpool Pleasure Beach, Blackpool Illuminations, and the Blackpool Tower. Until the 18th century, Blackpool was a little hamlet beside the sea. Number 2. Edinburgh. Scotland's capital city, Edinburgh is renowned for its heritage, culture, and festivals. Take a long walk around the centre to explore the world heritage sites of the old town and new town, as well as all the area's museums and galleries. Pause to fortify yourself with tea and scones at the city's charming tea rooms or duck into a traditional pub. Then head out to take in one of Edinburgh's many events, including the famous summer festivals of culture, or the winter festivals of music, light. Edinburgh is Scotland's compact, hilly capital. It has a medieval old town and elegant Georgian new town with gardens and neoclassical buildings. Looming over the city is Edinburgh Castle, home to Scotland's crown jewels and the Stone of Destiny, used in the coronation of Scottish ruler. Number 1. London. London is the capital city of the United Kingdom and is located in the southeastern part of England. Situated on the River Thames, London is a global metropolis and one of the most visited cities in the world. London is a vibrant and diverse city, offering a multicultural atmosphere and a melting pot of different cuisines, languages, and customs. It is a city rich in history and culture, with iconic landmarks that have become symbols of the city and the entire country. London is also known for its world-class museums and art galleries, such as the British Museum, the Victoria and Albert Museum. These institutions house impressive collections, including ancient artifacts, masterpieces by renowned artists, and exhibits that cover a wide range of subjects. Thanks for watching our list. Want to get more exciting videos? Subscribe to our channel and you will get notified when we added more travel inspirational videos.